Kuna story ambayo inaenda viral sasa hivi kupitia mitandao ya kijamii especially Instagram pamoja na YouTube pale baada ya interview ya moja kati ya warembo ambao wanafanya muziki pia kutoka Tanzania ambaye kwenye Instagram yake by the way anatumia jina la The Tanzanian Lioness. So uh, alizungumza swala zima la yeye ku umizwa kimapenzi na Ali Kiba na amesema kwamba Ali Kiba ni mtu ambaye anatumia nafasi yake ama jina lake kuweza kulagai watoto wa kike kama alivyofanya kwake yani walikuwa na plan kufanya kazi lakini baadaye ikaingia swala zima la mapenzi na baadaye pia akaja kuumizwa kama alivyoelezea utakuja kumsikia hapa kwa sababu amefanya interview kupitia wasafi by the way Shout out kwa Diva ambaye amefanya naye interview kupitia la Vidavi na amezungumza mambo mengi sana. Sasa baada ya kusikiliza hii interview na maelezo ya huyu dada, ningependa pia kuona komenti yako hapo chini una maoni gani kuhusiana hili hapa. Mimi naitwa Lisike as always papi wa moto kabisa. Like, comment, subscribe, share video hii usisahau kunifollow. You and Ali what happened? Well, um, since we did the interview yesterday, mm. Mm. um na niliongea kuhusu the changamoto sisi wa Vixen na Modo tunapitia in this industry. Mm. Nilivo rudi nyumbani mm. kama nilivyosema jana, mm. mimi I'm not exempt from these problems. Mm. Mimi ni moja wao ambao nimedharauliwa, mm. nimepitia a lot of things in this industry. Mm. And so kwenye kurudi nyumbani na ku you know kutafakari all the things I said, mm. nimeona Sometimes you have to put things out there ili kuwa na impact mm. in kwenye jamii yetu. Kabisa. And so mimi on my road as a vixen, unajua mm. nimekuta na nimekutana na changamoto nyingi sana. Na mnivongea kwenye the industry as a vixen my goal, my goal is kuwa, kuwa musician. Mm. Kwenye kutaka kuwa musician nilifanya kazi na hawa wasanii wakubwa, mm. Diamond, Ali, Harmonize Water. Mm. Ukienda kwa hawa watu unajua unaenda as somebody new in the industry unategemea kwamba these people watakuwa watakuweza wataweza kupa advice wataweza kukuguide in some way mm. you know mm. kutokana na the way wanavyoji present on mm. the media mm. lakini pia lakini the exact opposite happened for me mm. you know in fact mimi nilikuwa nilimeitwa nili, you know malaya nimeambiwa you know you will never make it mm. nimeambiwa you know you are talentless Mm. you know nili, nili una expect decency from people ambao una you look up to them mm. lakini wao wanakuonyesha you know mad disrespect mm. they're disrespecting you mm. and so he is one of the people that has done that to me disrespect major disrespect okay major major disrespect you know the thing is in order for the industry kukua we have to take our role seriously Mm. Ata kama kazi ni kuwa a model, kuwa a vixen, kuna heshima fulani you need to give um, mm. a certain person. Mm. And um yeye ni mtu ambaye through my experience nae amenionyesha kwamba not only does he disrespect women, mm. lakini pia ha, the way anavyoji present kwenye jamii mm. na the way I live your halisi mm. is two very different things. So I'll go straight into it ili mm. you have the full context of things. Mm. You of said course, you want to share your story. Yes, I want to share my story kwa sababu I wanted to kuwasaidia watu. Mm. I wanted to be here as a, a cautionary tale for wadada wapi ambao wanaingia ambao wanaingia kwenye this industry mm. na pia just to highlight some of the issues of this industry. Mm. So you know um alivo nili nilikuwa nili connected naye ali kwa ajili mm. ya kufanya his music video mm. um lakini immediately nilivo pewa al, alivo pewa namba yangu mm. you know alianza kuleta mambo mengine mm. you understand vitu outside of work mm. and this happened from the very first time that nilikutana naye any from the very first message mm. all the way up until day ya shoot the day ya shoot Yani the way I was disrespected the things he said to me mm. it was almost as if I was meat or something like that mm. you understand mm. and then even after that yani ni mtu ambaye anachukua nafasi yake to take advantage ya people who they want to they want to move forward in this industry mm. tunajua his reputation tunajua what he's known for tunajua the kind of guy he is mm. and so yani njia ya kutumia kazi is one of the many ways ambazo anazitumia in order ku basically wachezea wanawake okay. and this is an issue that 
as a public figure it needs to be addressed you understand mm. Mm. so yeah yeah alitumia hiyo njia ya kazi from the time he was um, married um mm. alikuwa na ni approach wanting to be with me lakini kwa sababu he was still married mm. school ever kubali mm. niliondoka nchi nikaenda barcelona kwenye kwenda barcelona still alikuwa na keep in touch with me all of those things trying to get to closer to me all of that stuff mm. um nilivorudi sasa it, the news at the time ilikuwa kwamba he was divorced that was mm. the news mm. na kwamba aliachana na mke wake mm. kwenye kuni tafuta tafuta all of these things kwenye kuongea naye akasema yes you know i am single all of these things na akatumia again hizo njia za we can do a song together yani kwa kifupi aliniaidi a lot of things mm. mimi nilienda naye nilienda kwake kupata ushauri mm. nilienda kwake ku nini kupata guidance in the form of in entertainment basically kwa sababu yeah, he's a very big entertainer mm. he is, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's a good entertainer he's, he's a very big very entertainer yeah, yeah, he is very really talented yeah. to quid mm. akatumia hiyo nafasi instead to take advantage get what he wanted and then you know leave i'm not the only person that this has happened to mm. ini epidemic kubwa sana in this industry mm. unfortunately wanawake tukiwatazama hao wa star tunadhani kwamba you know the image is who they are in real life lakini it's not true wengine image hiyo iko hivyo hivyo yeah so ujaisi labda alikuwa amekupenda kweli um, maybe he was really attracted to you maybe he never wanted to play with you Well, unajua ukiingia kwenye mahusiano mm. you think kwamba of course kwenye kuingia kwenye mahusiano lazima udhani kwamba this person cares about me. Mm. Now that's exactly what you know was sh- being shown at the time. Kwa like hiyo ingia kwenye mahusiano. Tuliingia kwenye mahusiano, yes. So you've ulikuwa naye ala. Yes. Kwa yes. muda gani? Nilikuwa naye kuanzia last year October mm. mpaka this year February. So mm. I'm continuing the story now. Okay. So kwenye kuingia kwenye mahusiano naye you know aliniaidi certain things as a as a man lakini pia kwenye kazi zangu kwa sababu alijua kwamba mimi ninapenda sana entertainment all of these things mm. lakini mwisho wa siku akaja ku basically just not you know do anything mm. this is before nilijua kwamba he's still married this is before nilijua kwamba ana girlfriends hapa na pale nini all these things na jamii I'm fresh from Barcelona Mm-hmm. But I don't really, you know, know that much about everybody's private lives. Mm-hmm. Na yeye mwenyewe ni mtu ambaye maisha yake halisi anaeka siri. Mm-hmm. It's, It's very, very yeah, very he's a very private person. person. Exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, kwenye eventually kutokana na yeye kutokufanya his part nikamwacha. Kwenye kumwacha um akajaribu ku like get back na mimi. Mm. Um, then kwenye hiyo kuni get back na mimi akaneka kwenye video ya nakuja ya Tommy Flavor mm, you know yeah. a lot of things amefanya kuwatuma watu kuni 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 like ku follow me you get what i'm saying yani mm. kunipa ad- updates on where i am mm. a lot of things amefanya mm. yani kuwatuma chawa zake all of those things mm. sasa ilifika a point where i was getting so fed up na being harassed nae mm. to the point where nili nilienda nilienda nili nili mconfront mm. you know you jana mlisema kwa nini usiende one on one sometimes one on one it does not work mm. sometimes doesn't make it, these things public mm. nilienda one on one nikamwambia you're harassing me you're trying to stop my bag essentially mm. you're trying to dictate my life mimi na wewe tuliachana a while ago mm. yani it wasn't really a while ago lakini tuliachana kwa nini mm. bado unaendelea kufanya all these things and we got into a very very heated argument Mm. a very heated argument which Elisha na mimi kusema askiliza if you don't leave me alone mm. i'm going to expose you i'm mm. not just going to expose what happened between mimi na wewe mm. i'm going to expose everything else that i know about you mm. i don't need to say everything else that there is about him because i'm sure you've heard from people kama you know Gigi Mani all of these means people who are saying a lot of things i don't i don't need to go into so much detail about him and his life mm. And so kwenye hiyo kuniomba msamaha kaniomba msamaha kaniomba msamaha kaniomba msamaha tukarudiana kwenye kurudiana this was in february mm. shortly after again akanizingua because mm. again alitakiwa niweke kwenye alitakiwa niweke kwenye video ya mahaba mm. and then tulitakiwa kufanya a song together mm. right and then pia kwenye mambo za hela nini i think you know you complained pia kwamba he's cheap 
So there was that as well. So inikamwacha. Kwenye kumwacha with time ndo hivyo nikaja kusikia kuhusu huyu, nikaja kusikia kuhusu yule na nikaja kupata the biggest bombshell of all mm. which is that he was still legally married. To me it's like you know you're here imeshaisha imeshapita you know mm. but why unatumia nafasi yako ku take advantage ya wanawake alafu that's not even all kwenye hiyo ku take advantage ya wanawake kuna nili, niliambiwa by him mm. kwamba ama whore niliambiwa by him ama bitch niliambiwa by him i'm not gonna make it in this industry ali niambia a lot of things i really cannot any when i think about everything that i went through I literally my heart in a, it's is crushed. Holy. It's literally crushed. I've had to go to therapy. Really? Yes. Holy. Holy. Holy, 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 silly. I've had to When I said in my story kwamba nimeumia mm. and I'm in a healing journey mm. it really is not a joke kwa sababu kuambiwa by somebody who ulim idolize mm. that you are nothing kwamba I'm going to send people you know after mm. you kwamba I'm going to sambaza your pictures kwamba you I'm going to I'm going to make sure you know this this and that you, you, all of these things you will never make it nini nini ni, all of these things so kwamba alisema kwa sababu ya wivu labda You know it's possible lakini I cannot speak kwa upande wake kwa sababu I'm not his brain. Your relationships is of it of you kawaida to mostly when people argue Tanzania to penzi wake na hizo kasema chochote it's all about relationships and I, I don't know what really happened lakini I think I think labda alikuwa anakupenda kweli and maybe he never wanted to lose him. No. Um kwa sababu tulikuwa wengi sana and it doesn't matter mnaweza mkawa wengi alafu one person aka win your heart right um no i don't work that way kwa hiyo mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah he can do that on his own nam to mwingine but not me yeah. so hivyo tukaachana and i think the point ni kwamba women need to be shown respect i mean mm-hmm. it's possible kwamba yani ata kama unatumia hiyo njia ya kazi kujaribu ku get something from somebody at least deliver unaelewa mm, mm. at least deliver don't try and break the person down kabisa 